15 years since the miracle on the Hudson, Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger made an incredible, a miracle landing on the river, saving everybody on board. Today, some passengers and first responders gathered at the New York Waterway Ferry Terminal and CBS 2's Alice Gaynor reports tonight from Pier 79. Denise Lockie, seat 2C on U.S. Airways Flight 1549, points to where she was during the Miracle on the Hudson water rescue in this photograph taken January 15, 2009. Our slide rack didn't deploy properly, therefore it was upside down, but we had it underneath us. Dave Sanderson in seat 15A was still inside the plane to see if anyone needed help. When he tried to exit, there was no room on the wing or the boat for me. But he says ferries arrived quickly. I was inside the plane waist deep in 36 degree water for about seven minutes until the plane shook. Thinking the plane was going to sink, he swam 15 yards toward a ferry and got jet fuel in his eyes in the process. They had to clean the jet fuel out later when I got back. Both are grateful to first responders. The ferry captains, hospital staff, fire and law enforcement on both sides of the river and the Red Cross. Then Weehawken EMS Captain Giovanni Ahmad says the rescue effort could have been chaotic that day were it not for regional post 9-11 planning and drilling the month before. For a rescue of a capsized ferry, ship, uh, maritime emergency, this is the same as a ferry, it's just an airplane, so we're going to treat it the same way, and we executed 98% of that plan. First responders we spoke with say it actually feels warmer today than it did on that day 15 years ago. They were wet. They were really grateful for socks. Lockie, who wears a necklace of charms related to that day around her neck, is hoping first responders can help her one more time. For 15 years, she's been trying to piece together the ferry ride to safety. I just have that blank for about however long it takes to get from the middle of the Hudson to New Jersey. One memory seared forever, though, that miracle landing with everyone accounted for. At Pier 79, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Miracle indeed, and there's so many stories to be told from that day, from the passengers to the first responders and, and the reporters who rushed to the scene. <laughs> Join me and Marsha Kramer. We were there for a first-hand look at how it all unfolded. Our special streams tonight at 7 on CBS News New York. Find us on Pluto TV, the CBS News app, or wherever you stream. You know, I remember that day, and for a few minutes, because it was right here, a little, right here, a little yeah. north of the studio and then as it went down uh, the west side on the Hudson and at first we were like oh it's a movie it's a movie because that's what it looked like made. just for like a few seconds it's real it's real and then I remember sitting out there and saying wait everyone's okay this is like incredible I mean it doesn't usually end that way it ended perfectly that everybody crew. did their job perfectly mm -hmm. incredible and passengers all everybody uh, everyone yeah